Smile and learn. Hey, friends! Today we are going to show you how to calculate the area of a rhombus, also called the surface of a rhombus. Let's start by remembering what a rhombus is. A rhombus is a parallelogram with four equal sides. Its opposite sides are parallel and its opposite angles are equal, which must be different from each other, meaning that not all angles can be 90 degrees because that would be a square. Its surface area can be measured in square inches, square feet, square miles, and many other units of measurement. As you can see in this image, the area of the rhombus is the number of square units that the figure contains inside. To calculate the area of the rhombus, we must use the following formula. The area of a rhombus is equal to the first diagonal times the second diagonal divided by two. Diagonals are lines that go from one vertex to another vertex. There is one diagonal longer than the other. That is why we call the longest diagonal 1 and the shortest diagonal 2. The longest diagonal is represented by D1 and the shortest diagonal by D2. Let's practice. The longest diagonal of this rhombus measures 15 inches and the shortest diagonal measures 8 inches. What will its area or surface be? To calculate the area or surface of a rhombus, we must multiply the longest diagonal by the shortest diagonal and then divide by 2. That is, 15 times 8 equals 120 and 120 divided by 2 equals 60. Great! The area of this rhombus is equal to 60 square inches. This rhombus fits 61 square inch squares. Well done! Let's look at another example. Anna has a rhombus-shaped kite. If the longest diagonal measures 30 inches and its shortest diagonal measures 16 inches, what is its total area or surface? Remember that we must multiply the longest diagonal by the shortest diagonal and then divide by 2. Let's see. 30 times 16 equals 480 and 480 divided by 2 equals 240. That's great! We have helped Anna to find out her kite's area. Did you see that? That's awesome! As you have seen, knowing how to calculate the area of a rhombus is very important. All you have to do is multiply the longest diagonal by the shortest diagonal and divide the result by 2. Are you ready to calculate the area of the next rhombus you find? See you later! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.